Hi everybody, this is Avalon from Crafts Direct, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can make this Fall Favorites Clothesline Shadow Box. So not only are some of my favorite things about fall listed here, but I also love the adorable sweater, teapot, candle. I mean, what more is there not to love about fall? The first thing you will do is take apart your shadow box and you are going to cut the string that is creating the clothesline. Next, you are going to stain the shadow box. You are going to stain the insert, so you'll take that out first and stain that. And then you're also going to stain the shadow box itself. You are going to want to make sure that you take the glass out of there and make sure you paint both the inside and the outside of the shadow box. And then lastly, you want to paint the back of the shadow box. That insert that also works as the back of the frame is what you're going to be seeing behind the glass. So you are also going to stain that. Next, you are going to attach a new string to the insert of the shadow box. On one end, you are going to adhere the string. You are going to use glossy accents. And for this project, I'm actually going to be putting the string a little bit higher than where the original string was. This will just give us a little bit more room. Next, you will string on three clothespins. You will then adhere the other side of this string and you will use glossy accents once again. To help make sure the string stays in place, you can also use a stapler to help keep the string in place. Next, you are going to cut out the 4x3 card that has all of the fall things listed on it. You will then trim it up so that it fits well in the shadow box. Next, you will cut out the square that has the sweater on it. You are also going to want to cut out the teapot and the candle. You will then cut around the teapot and the candle. You want to go right along the edge to cut out those pieces. Attach the fall list to the clothesline and the sweater to the left of it. You are also going to attach the candle to the bottom of the fall list using foam squares. Cut a small strip from the brown paper with flowers. You will then attach it to the side of your wallet sized photo. Attach the photo to the last clothespin. And then if you want, you can add a little color to the frame. I wanted it to still look kind of rustic, so I didn't paint it on completely. I wanted to leave some spots that looked kind of rough, so I didn't completely paint it. Once the frame of the shadow box looks as you like, you then can add your glass and the back of the shadow box once again. Next, you will cut a one inch thick strip of the acorn paper and you want it to be as long as the glass is. You will put it at the very bottom of the shadow box on top of the glass and you will glue it down with glossy accents. Take the teapot and on the back of it, you will attach the foam squares. You will then adhere the teapot in the left corner of the shadow box. This is going to be on the outside of the shadow box. Next, you are going to grab raffia and put it around the bottom of the shadow box. Bring both ends to the front and then you are going to tie a bow. You are then going to center the bow on the shadow box and then you are going to take a foam square to adhere the center of the bow to the shadow box. 
And now your shadow box is ready to be hung up and displayed. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can shop all the products needed to make this project at craftsdirect.com slash projects.